As a younger, angrier man, with fewer grey hairs and even fewer well thought out opinions, I used to define my entire personality around what I didn't like. Which was entirely absurd as most of the things I claimed to hate, I hadn't even seen. I would proudly reel off a list of things that I didn't watch, didn't listen to and didn't read. I'd take pride in not knowing who was number one in the charts, or the names of characters in popular TV shows. If someone asked me, who's your favourite band? I'd either think of the most obscure underground band possible, or just mumble something like, oh you probably haven't heard of them, before asking them the same question and mocking their answer. When asked what's your favourite film, I'd go through the same charade, either dredging up a long forgotten independent black and white French film, or simply say, oh you probably haven't heard of it, before snorting with derision whenever they said, oh I love Jurassic Park, or I love Star Wars. It's not surprising I didn't have many friends. My parents had very different approaches to their choices of entertainment. My dad took music very seriously. He'd sit, eyes closed, frowning in concentration with huge headphones on, listening to old records, or tapes he'd made from Alexis Corner's Blues and Soul radio show. His TV viewing consisted of news, current affairs, and nature documentaries. No soaps, no dramas. My dad's comedy tastes of Monty Python and Spike Milligan were strange and to my young ears and eyes, inaccessible. My mum had a very different relationship with the things she liked. She played pop music loudly around the house, always buying the latest novelty record like the Birdie song or Agadoo. Music made her happy and it made her dance. She watched TV to escape, not to learn or to be informed. She enjoyed soaps and game shows and would always dismiss the news as boring before switching it off. The people she found funny were funny to me too. They were childlike and stupid. People like Little and Large or Cannon and Ball and Tommy Cooper. The things my dad liked made him quiet and remote. The things my mum liked made her laugh and feel alive. She was never ashamed to like something silly or popular. My mum died 18 years ago, and since then I've tried to be more like her than my dad. If I like a song, I'll just accept that I like it, whoever's singing it. If something makes me laugh, then I won't quickly check if anyone cool is watching before committing to a full chuckle. Shaking off those old habits was hard, and I still take music, films and art pretty seriously. I tend to prefer a thoughtful indie drama to a light rom-com, and I'd still rather listen to The Shins than The Spice Girls. But what I've stopped doing is judging or dismissing the people who do like those things, and I've stopped defining myself by what I don't like. I'd much rather talk about the things that I do. Seems good, I like it.